this is your chemistry class and today I will teach you the difference between the covalent bond and coordinate covalent bond. So what is a covalent bond? A covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electron between the two known metal atoms. There are two things in the covalent bond. First of all, this bond would be formed between the two known metal atoms and the bond would be formed by the mutual sharing. So what is meant by mutual sharing? Look at the screen. Uh, for example, uh, if in NH3 ammonia, nitrogen is the central atom and nitrogen belongs to fifth group. So nitrogen has fifth, five electron in its outermost shell. What do you think? This nitrogen is stable? No. Nitrogen is unstable. What is the criteria of stability? This criteria of stability in chemistry is each atom, if atom has 8 electron in its outermost shell, then that atom is stable. If an atom has less than 8 electron, then that atom would be unstable. So nitrogen has 5 electron in its outermost shell. So this nitrogen is unstable and there are 3 hydrogens also. This is the first hydrogen. Hydrogen has only one electron in its outermost shell. And you know, those atoms which has only one shell can accommodate only two electrons in its first shell. So hydrogen needs only two electrons to get the stability. So these four atoms will make bond from each other. By the mutual sharing, this is the nitrogen and, and five electron one, two, three, four, and five. Nitrogen has five electron and it needs further three electrons to get the stability. So it will make three bonds. One hydrogen will make a bond here, second hydrogen here, and third hydrogen will make a bond with nitrogen. Now you can count the number of electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So nitrogen is stable. Nitrogen has 8 electron in its outermost shell. And hydrogen is also stable. Why hydrogen is stable? Because hydrogen has 2 electron in its first shell. So uh, there are 3 single covalent bonds in NH3. For a single covalent bond, for a single covalent bond, two electrons are shared between the two atoms. So what is mean by mutual sharing? Mutual sharing means one electron from the hydrogen atom and the other electron from the nitrogen atom. This is called mutual sharing. Equal contribution from each atom is called mutual sharing. Now, I am giving you the second example. Second example is H2O, water. In H2O, what is the central atom? Oxygen. Oxygen belongs to which group? Oxygen belongs to 6 group. So oxygen has 6 electron in its outermost shell. So this is the oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. What do you say? Is it stable or unstable? This oxygen is unstable because it has not 8 electron in its outermost shell. In chemistry, atoms are stable if they have 8 electron in its outermost shell. So oxygen has not 8 electron, so it will make bonds. And these are the two hydrogens. These two hydrogens are also unstable. For the stability of hydrogen, hydrogen needs 2 electron in its first shell. So these three atoms will make bond from each other. How? This is the oxygen and six electrons in the outermost shell of oxygen and these two hydrogen atom will make a bond from oxygen. This is first hydrogen and this would be the second hydrogen. Now you can count the electrons in the outermost shell of oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So oxygen is stable. 
and hydrogen yes hydrogen is also stable because hydrogen has only one shell and those atom which has only one shell can accommodate maximum two electrons and hydrogen has two electrons so there are two single covalent bonds in this case when two electrons are shared then a single covalent bond is formed so one electron pair here and the second electron pair is here so two single covalent bonds are formed. In the third example, uh, third example is CH4. In CH4, carbon is the central atom. Carbon belongs to fourth group, so carbon has four electrons in its outermost shell. And the neighboring atoms are the again hydrogen atom. One, two, third hydrogen, and fourth hydrogen. So what do you say? Carbon is stable? No, carbon is unstable because it has not eight electron in its outermost shell. And hydrogens are also unstable. So these five atoms will make a bond from each other. One hydrogen will make a bond here, second hydrogen will make a bond here, third here and fourth hydrogen atom will make a bond with this electron. So this is your carbon atom and four electron in its outermost shell and these four hydrogen atoms, one hydrogen atom here will make a bond with carbon, second hydrogen atom here will make a bond with carbon atom, third hydrogen atom will make a bond here and the fourth hydrogen atom will make a bond here. So, how many electrons are shared between the uh, two atoms? Between this carbon and this hydrogen, two electrons are shared, so there is a single covalent bond. How many electrons are shared between this carbon and this hydrogen? Only two electrons are shared, so again a single covalent bond. This carbon and this hydrogen, two electrons are shared, so single covalent bond is formed. And this carbon and this hydrogen, two electrons are shared. So again, a single covalent bond would be formed. So this is the covalent bond in which the mutual sharing of electron between the two non-metal atoms.